Well, new guidance from the state has made millions more Californians eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine. State now classifies informal caregivers as priority groups in phase 1A. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at who qualifies, what it means for thousands of people caring for elderly parents. And we're in and out of the house constantly. Beth Clarich and her older sister Judy do everything they can for their aging parents, Nancy, who has Alzheimer's, and Herschel. We do a lot of their shopping, their food prep. We take them to all of their medical appointments. Nancy and Herschel have already gotten their first vaccine. So has Judy, who qualifies because she's over 65. Beth hasn't. I I know that if I was vaccinated, I could be with them a little more freely. Now new guidance from the California Health Action Network makes it possible. A memo dated February 2nd says informal caregivers can get vaccinated. The memo defines an informal caregiver as, quote, an unpaid family member or other person who regularly aids and supervises the daily care of an elderly or disabled person but need not live in the same house. ABC 10 News asked county leaders on Thursday how someone would prove that at a vaccine site. For that that program, it requires a doctor's note uh, for a doctor to certify and verify that. uh, And they have to uh, produce that at each of our sites uh, when they arrive for an appointment. The county also says that letter must include the words informal caregiver and must be personalized, not a form letter, to try and cut down on forgery and any chance that someone may try to exploit the term as a loophole in the system. And I was vaccinated the same day my mother was. Adrienne Pierre qualified because she helps care for Rosemary, her 86-year-old mother with Alzheimer's. Being vaccinated relieved the stress of possibly infecting her mother or the other people caring for her. It weighs on me in every decision that I make in terms of how I live my daily life. That stress is shared by an estimated 250,000 San Diegans who have parents with dementia or Alzheimer's. The CDC says 20% of Californians over the age of 45 serve as an informal caregiver to a relative or loved one. Elder care advocates say they deserve the same vaccine protection other health care workers already received. Family caregivers are at great risk not only emotionally for the burden of the caregiving and all of the responsibility and emotionality of that, but now the possibility of contaminating the very people that they're cared for. For Clarich, who plans to schedule an appointment as soon as possible, it's a blessing. I am used to seeing my parents almost daily, and I still do, but in a very different manner. And it it would be a tremendous game changer. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, people who qualify as informal caregivers can only get their vaccines at county-run or affiliated sites, and we put more information at 10news.com. Now, we know there are a lot of questions and different experiences with the vaccine rollout. Our ABC 10 News in-depth team committed to tracking down answers and sharing your stories. Just send us an email to tips at 10news.com.